Um, name is Mark Levester uh, from Richmond, Virginia. My record is four and four. Uh, training camp went real, real well. I mean, put a lot of mat time for this fight. Like, I know this fight's probably gonna be my hardest fight out of my uh, eight fights. So, ready to go to work. I uh, like fighting at Swamp Fox because I mean, it brings a uh, whole new crowd and I mean, a whole new uh, fan, you know, orientation. So, I got a lot of fans. So, just keep on pushing that way. I see the fight ending by my hand getting raised. Like I said, it's MMA, so I mean, you always have to be cautious of everything. But I see five rounds, four minutes after it's all done, me with my hand raised and me being a new UFFC 135 champion. Michael Torres from Gastonia, North Carolina. I train with Body Quest MMA. I'm ready to get in here and get that belt. I, that's, I'm ready to do work. That's what I do. You know, train harder and 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 think about the opponent that I'm fighting, you know what I mean? Uh, think about what his style is and, and what he what he usually goes for as in stand-up or wrestling. Uh, just work hard on everything, so I'll be ready, and I am ready. Me and him in the first round and uh, get my hand raised at the end, which is what's gonna happen. The interim pick to weight championship. I like the boys, first she's the nice, they're Mike all nice. Fighting out of the Appalachian Auto Works blue corner. He fights for Team Ruthless of Jacksonville, North Carolina, with a record of four wins and three losses. I give you Marcus Little Big Man, Little Big Star. Gotta love a man with a little big man and as a name. his opponent, <laughs> fighting out of the National Guard, Red Corner. Representing Potty Quest, MMA of Gastonia, North Carolina. Coming with an undefeated record of four wins and zero losses, Michael. Does look like a uh, murderer, honest to God. Yes. Hoping some representatives from Hayabusa are watching since he's got like the entire line of Hayabusa apparel. <laughs> a little bit of a jump on Torres' part. He's antsy ready to roll. So, so intense. I like Levester's relaxed demeanor in every fight I've ever seen him in. Yeah. Such a calm, it's such a, uh, you know, it's such a contrast to uh, Torres's intensity. insane <laughs> intensity. And there he's got him in that guillotine like a Oh one. my God! Flipped him over. Levesque's he was mad at the there. mat. Levesque's Uses got him Levesque back to punish the mat. Yes. <laughs> Levesque still looks like he's a little bit in shock from that one. Yeah, I, I, but he's so relaxed and, and com, you know, just a composed guy. Yes. Remaining calm. Uh, you know, I, I think he'll be fine here for a little bit, but he does not want to lose this round. Chance of body quest taking this place over tonight. Big, big shots here. Levesque is still calm. Insanely calm. He's always been that way. Very composed. You know, I think that's a lot of experience on his part. He might have, it looks like he's setting up for the guillotine. That's Levester's bread and butter right there. Right? Yeah, I've seen him, uh, he's pulled that off a couple times here, uh, some big wins. He's got it deep, that is deep. Oh! Oh wow, I slid right out of How dare you guillotine me? Well, Lester had that in nice though. He was torquing it hard. The uh, bald head kind of slid right <laughs> up out of there. I think uh, Torres is going to have to be careful not to get caught in that again. But Lester had that tied up real nice and tight. Torres got to keep centered on him here and land more of those big, big shots because he is hitting hard. But Lester's just got to watch his head right there at the bottom of the cage. Yeah, I like I like this. Torres is using some you know pro level moves here, covering the mouth to disrupt breathing, quick posture, power shots, pushed into the cage. Big big shots here, again with the disrupting the breathing, and he uses that to push off and land shots. You know you can't sing the praises of Body Quest enough. It, it, these are. He's, he's getting there. close with those knees. He's got a good eye on it. That's a 
we got a good ref in there uh, yeah. for these title fights. He does a good job. That's how we know he's not going to call it early. And uh, we'll get Marcus to see a great fight here. moving pretty good. Yeah, his jiu-jitsu game has improved a lot. You know, I, I've seen the evolution in him as a fighter here at USFFC, and that's obviously how he had a shot at the title tonight against a really tough competitor like Torres. We may see, uh, you know, Torres' cardio come out in this fight. Being from Body Quest, I would expect that he can go for a UFC title fight. Yeah, five rounds, yeah. <laughs> You know, these little guys, they can do that, though. They can go, they can fight for, like, two, three hours nonstop. Lavester, he's eating a lot of shots, and still, he's got a chin on him. Big chin. Yes. He he's taking, taking some punishing yes. shots. Michael Torres is raining down shots like his teammate Chase Gamble earlier. Heavyweight hands. But see, Lavester still calm, collected, I, I smooth like customer. I think he's, that's going to pay off in his benefit later. And, and he's, he's not expending a lot of energy on the bottom here. Yeah, I mean, he's fighting pretty good from the bottom. He's landed a couple of shots. Not really power punches or anything, but. Yeah, the uh, tip, he looks like he's trying to set up that guillotine. It, it worked earlier. But Torres is just totally negating it. If I'm in uh, Torres' corner, I'm, I'm going to have to tell him to, you know, continue the top control, uh, watch the guillotine, and continue to rain down shots. Whereas uh, Lavester is going to have to work hard not to get on his back again. He had no answers on the ground aside from the guillotine attempt. But he's got a uh, he's got Travis Varner over there in his cage. Travis Varner is one of the better grapplers in the in the area in the, the lighter side, or at least for uh, Swamp Fox. He's actually the uh, I believe the 155 lightweight champion. Yeah, he. Uh, Actually won by knockout. As, as you were uh, touting his uh, grappling game, he's he had some power in his hands and knocked out uh, Eric Colron just cold that last in fight. A, to take the title. In a very few, it, for people that don't know Travis Varner, he doesn't throw many punches. I've honestly seen maybe two in his career, and that one <laughs> laid out Eric Calderon. So here we go, getting ready for round two. And Torres has lost no intensity, and Levester has not become unrelaxed yet. I like it. This is such a contrast. It's it's great to see these two styles collide here tonight. I love the toe stomps from Body Quest guys. You Honestly, rarely see those. Exactly, and you know, like every Body Quest fighter will toe stomp, and they are such great fighters in the clinch everywhere. They're so well rounded. Esther well, might be a little bit of trouble right now. But, I mean, he's pretty good at the grappling game. He might be able to get back out of it. Definitely. He's showing a lot of heart here tonight to uh, take in the shots. He did the first round, come right back out. Torres looks like he's trying for a, I'm guessing that's a bicep buster type. Pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's got the arm trap now under his knee, and he can rain down some serious shots. The has got to get out of here. Oh, and Lemester gets his arm out. Lemester's got his guard back. Open the guard back up. Yeah, he's playing that right now because I don't think Torres is too interested in passing or in improving position. It's, I want to smash your face. But the only thing is, look, Lemester's just almost looking like he's just waiting to throw a submission on top of him. Definitely. He's, he's, this is a very Gracie-like attitude. I'm going to let you punch all you want. I'm going to absorb the damage. And when the moment is right, I will catch you. Oh, and Torres takes the back. He's got one hook in. Raining punches down from the side here. The Vester may have some sore ears after that. This looks like a Tank Scoggin-esque type performance. Well, Vester may be able to slip out the back as Torres is getting kind of high on that guard. It's going to be kind of hard to flatten him out from way, well, I was going to say from way up there. Oh, and Lester gets a leg out. He's only got one hook in now. lester has got some great technique on the ground trying not to, you know, absorb a lot of damage. I'm, I'm admiring his heart quite a bit. He is determined to get this belt here tonight.
towards this corner, calling for the uh, body triangle. Which he'll probably get because Levester's working more harder on trying to keep him from getting those arms in. Face crush. Got a crank going. You know, people can tap out from the pain and pressure. Now it's set in. And that is a deep back. rear naked choke. He lets it go. We don't have the best angle right here, but Levester is fighting off everything. So much heart. That ah, was back of the head there. Uh, Torres apologizes. Knows he did it. Uh, obviously a heat of the moment kind of thing, you know. He, he actually looks to be frustrated a bit by his inability to put Levester away. He's got the rear naked choke in again. This time it looks like it's tight. And I'm not sure. Levester may be forced to tap here. He's fighting it off. Doing a great job fighting it off. So much heart from this guy. Oh my God, and he's out again. He's got that, that Cody Gully type. You're it's not tapping me at all. Exactly. He's You're gonna have to break something or it's just not happening. Levester is one tough customer here. The Jacksonville area should be proud of Marcus Levester so far tonight. I cannot disagree with you there. And he just hops up like <laughs> nothing's going on. I was not getting hit in the face 10 seconds ago. Torres is wow. taking some deep breaths here. I wonder if this is all a ploy for Levester to let him. That would be a five time there, but I, I wouldn't put it past him. It, it, it would definitely appear that way. Uh, Torres came out real game, uh, put the pressure on, and he's such an intense guy, and he usually gets people put away early. And Levester is just there. He's not going anywhere. He's like a brick wall, and Torres is just ramming his truck into him over and over again, trying to knock him over. But Levester's not breaking. No. That was the worst metaphor ever, but we're going to go with it. Um, I have no idea what you were talking about, a truck yeah. running into him. And all right, shut up, Ryan. <laughs> it's all right. You know, if I'm in uh, Torres' corner right now, i, I got to be saying, uh, lighten up on the pressure. Don't be as aggressive. Uh, you will gas yourself out now. We're getting into the later yeah, rounds here. Levester's hardly even breathing hard. Yeah, I mean, he's expended little energy escaping chokes and uh, uh, avoiding ground and pound control and posture with uh, little energy expenditure. You never know if, if Torres might have burned his arms out or... His hands are a lot lower this round. Oh, still a big shot there. Looks like Levester's coming forward a little bit more. Trying to close that distance. Yeah, his quarter had to tell him, you've lost these last two rounds. Uh, they could be, the first one could have been a 10-8. And uh, he's going to have to come out and put the pressure on Torres. Oh, and a big shot from Marcus Levester. Torres wanted that to the ground quick. Is he still rocked? And is this a tight guillotine? I don't think it's really tight right at the present moment. He no, slipped, it's he out. slipped out. Now he caught him with a big, big right hand there. And uh, that forced Torres to shoot his uh, wits about. Torres is moving him basically wherever he kind of wants it. Yeah, Levester's uh, needs to try and work off the cage. If Torres is going to put him in the cage and work these big, big shots, Levester needs to use that to his advantage and work his way up the cage. Yeah, because it seems, it seems now that Torres is doing more of a um, build up to uh, more of a power shot. Definitely. I mean, he landed a great one there. Looks like he's trying for the. Uh, for the triangle a little bit. Playing a little bit of rubber guard. I think that's more posture control at this point. Uh, and Torres, he's wanting Torres to expend some energy trying to break out of this. Oh, Torres, oh. Big ear shot there. He's got him cramped up in this cage, perfect. You know where his head is at, so as soon as you posture up, boom, your head has nowhere to go. It is just splat. Now they're standing up. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I'm a little iffy on that stand-up, maybe a little longer, but, uh, you know, that's uh, that's our rep. <laughs> Buster still looks calm and collected. 
may not definitely. definitely. I, I like that. You know, he's uh, he's obviously not playing the mind games. And Torres looks a little little winded here. Nice. Laying in some shots. The Vester takes nice. to the ground. Double leg takedown. Possibly hoping for some revenge shots from <laughs> earlier. He's going to have to do something with it. I think Torres is uh, trying to hold posture here, keep him down. Him back up. Exactly. I know they're asking him to work the body, but he's going to have to do more than that. Yeah, Torres is just looking for posture, controlling the stand. If he just locked in that body triangle. I mean, he's asking <laughs> he the ref, he's like, hey, man, are you going to do anything this week? <laughs> that, that's a rare form here in uh, MMA. Like, I got him postured down. He ain't moving. Come on, man. What are we this doing here, right? <laughs> Come on, ref. Lester needs to just drop and, and, and throw the hands right now. Torres is coming in winging shots. Uh, real wild. Real, real wild. And uh, Lester backs up into the cage, and Torres takes him down. He's going to have to take the center of the cage so he has room to circle or at least just move away from that takedown. I like Torres using the, uh, his head to uh, control some posture here. That's nice. It's, uh, again, another professional technique. Ten seconds left in this round. Looks like this might end up being a... We are going to go to the championship rounds here. Uh, it's 5-4. You know, I think the early aggression has taken its toll on uh, Torres trying to put Levester away. He is breathing a little bit harder. This is the most winded I've ever seen him in a fight. Except this might be the longest I've ever got to see him fight. Yeah. Normally, he doesn't really... Doesn't usually let emotion take him away, kind of like he did this time. I mean, he's always energetic, intense. Looked like he had a little bit more of a determination to go a little bit crazy. A little more intensity than usual. Maybe too much. <laughs> and Levester relaxed as ever, as always, as he has been this whole fight. I'm not sure I how to score probably, that last round, though. No. Uh, Levester has to probably take give it it's 10 non Levester. It's, it's got to go a different way. You know, uh, Levester had that great takedown and uh, landed some, some uh, shots standing up. Levester still yet to be breathing hard. Maybe it's not. Maybe he has a third lung in there somewhere. But he's being smart, gauging out his energy, saving his gas tank. Shot to the family uh, expensive Sometimes it does not wear. pay to be a little big man. We're back to the action. Oh, big, big right hand. Whipped it. Whipped it right at him. Kind of looks like Torres is just kind of biding his time, biding his time, and then rearing up for one big shot. Yeah, it's, it's not working too well for him so far. I liked it better when he was putting together the combos, working the jabs, and uh, going high and low with his combos, like this right now. But levester has got to know he's behind on the cards and needs to uh, put the pressure on here and land some big shots and maybe another takedown and get the points. <laughs> up and down. A nice takedown here. Torres looks to his corner for advice here. Uh, I'm guessing they're going to say control the posture, look for another stand up. Maybe we'll get another, hey ref. <laughs> if there were two in one up. fight, I would lose my mind. Yeah, I mean, Torres is about the. Oh! <laughs> uh, the corner says knee him in the ass, and he does. See, the corner yelling, same thing, that, that kind of says to him, hey, he's probably going to shoot right now. Kind of. Oh, nice. Oh, some nice. nice shots here from Levester. I don't like how he's winging his shots, but he's throwing hard, and he's obviously got a little bit more left than, uh, than Torres at this point. Marcus has got to do something besides that dodging back and forth. Definitely. He's, he's coming in clenching, looking for that takedown, and it's, and it's working for him thus far. I think... 
it's like, like you need said, to lead into it a little bit more. Throw a shot uh, to lead into the takedown. Like, yeah, I agree with you there. But he's, uh, you know, he's he's taking the game to Torres now. I, I guess his corner fi figures that uh, Torres is a little winded from those early rounds, trying to put Levester away. Uh, I I don't know if that was part of the strategy or or what, but uh, Levester is still so incredibly relaxed. I don't know if he's playing Xbox or in a fight right now. Just look at his face. So calm, so I composed. Mean, he, he does have three more fights than, uh, than Michael Torres does. You know, that experience might be coming into play here. But I don't think, I think in, in 10 years when Torres has gone pro, he'll still be the most intense competitor there. The third Diaz brother. <laughs> Lovester should uh, take a book out of uh, Body Quest MMA's uh, book here and, and just, you know, hold, wait for a stand-up, score your own takedown, get the points. Because with Torres getting this last takedown and, and riding it out for the round, he's going to take this round. Oh, yeah. I mean, the first, what, two, two and a half takedowns, depending on how they decide to score it. And the majority of the time. Those will go away if he's laying on his back the rest of the time. Definitely. It, it, it is about like the last 30 seconds for a lot of judges. And there's that arm pinned again. He's working that crucifix great. Levester gets out of it. Torres had a shot at north-south, but Levester kind of spun out of it. Trying to trap that arm again. That's trying to walk the cage. Ten seconds to go in this round. Yeah, Levester should. Le Levester probably just gave that round away with his complacency on his back. I mean, if Torres ends up winning this uh, this fight overall, I mean he's earned it. Definitely, this has been a hard-fought fight, though. Both guys have had their moments. Uh, Torres has had more at this point. Probably, you would think has done more damage, but if you look at the face of Levester, it does not appear as, he, uh, as though he's been in a fight at all. Kind of sounds like they have a marching band in the room or something. <laughs> I mean, if you look at the face of each other, I mean, Levester has like no... Exactly, and he took some in very him. hard shots early on. And I mean, Torres' face is a lot more construed. <laughs> Yes, I came up with a big fancy word. Everybody send me something on Facebook or, or Twitter at, at mouth of South MMA and say, hey, you used Still that. Still only has two syllables. In, in a bad context, especially to be a writer. Now, Levester's going to have to come out aggressive and, and finish Torres, in my opinion. If he doesn't, he's definitely losing his final points. He's going to have to... I'm thinking he's going to have to finish it, I mean, quick. Yeah, he does not want, because uh, Torres has done so good and been so dominant on the ground here. Uh, yeah, he's got to stop that takedown. Big shot from Levester there. Nice uh, left cross to the face of uh, Torres. Levester's got to know that that, that guillotine's probably not going to work this late in the round because Torres has seen it three, four, or five times. You know, if he can clip him before he throws the guillotine, you know, you're rocked. Oh, and Levester gets taken down. Levester's got to wrap him up and get him standing back on the, get him standing back up. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna need to stand up. Or uh, if I'm Torres, I'm riding this out from the half guard, occasionally punching so the ref doesn't stand us up. And you know, I'm I'm taking a bell home. Yeah, turn this into a Ben Askren. <laughs> oh wow, big big shots. He trapped that arm for a third time this fight. I mean, no, no offense to Ben Askren, but he's the he's the best at taking them down and keeping them down and doing he's just enough without standing back champion. up. Yes. Duke Rufus touts his stand up somehow. He says it's great. Well, when you're out of Duke Rufus and you got Anthony Pettis, everyone is superstars. <laughs> Torres, uh, he could pass here. Vesters doesn't have his leg locked down too hard right now. He's kind of loose on it. 
Torres needs to work some ground and pound and then pass. He's got that arm again. That is the fourth time we have seen him trap the arm and laying ground and pound here. I think I finally see some damage on uh, Levester's face. Finally. And he, he's probably eating close to 100 punches, like hard shots. Torres does not throw pillow punches. He does not have pillow hands. Trying to get Torres to, to hop into the mount, but of Levester let him in there. Now, Levester actually has been really aggressive off of his back and uh, just negated a lot of the things that Torres wanted to do. He's hopped out of that uh, the arm trap three or four times now. Working a half butterfly, half high. Trolling the posture, but you know, the rubber guard only works if you have both legs out. Torres trapping the arm for a fifth time. Torres really likes trapping that arm down and trying to get him in that crucifix. Yeah, and, and it's weird how he does it. He's still got one leg in guard. He's still in half guard and <laughs> trapping LeMaster's arm. Great technique here. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying watching this fight. I'm seeing some high-level technique from a Torres, as with all Body Quest fighters. I'm just amazed at how... I'm, I'm guessing the crowd really does not enjoy a five-round fight that... <laughs> No offense to Bjorn Rebney and, and all the guys at Bellator, but yeah, this does feel like a Ben Askren type fight. Gets you the win, gets you the payday, but take a quick nap in between rounds two oh. and four and wake up for the championship round. Oh. Just say. I, I, I somehow think Torres has done a lot more damage and been a lot more aggressive than Ben Askren has ever been in his career. Uh, he did pretty well his last time. Yeah. But Levesta really does have to tie him up, possibly get this, well, yeah, this 10 is, seconds to go. This one's kind of. going to be it because Levesta, he was too complacent on his back. And it looks like Michael Torres is taking home a nice chunk of gold around his waist. Marcus Levesta fought his heart out, though. I mean, I've, yeah, he, there's, there's a lot of guys on the card that shown a lot of heart. A lot of determination. He's still just not, he's still not breathing hard though. Yeah. That, I think that may be the problem. He was too relaxed on the ground. And uh, I would like to see him come out with more takedowns and been more aggressive in the later rounds when uh, Torres slowed down a little bit. And he may have been able to steal this fight, but it went as it did. Torres with some very dominant top control and some vicious ground and pound in those early rounds. It's not often uh, some 135ers punch each other in the corner and the whole cage shakes. Yeah. And I mean, I like the placement. Uh, I mean, Torres got him where he wanted to, kind of guided him around a little bit. So showed yeah. a decent amount of wrestling on those. Definitely. And, and what I liked about uh, a lot of Torres' uh, techniques were he, he was trying for the finish. It was not, I'm going to take you down and hold you. I am trying to wreck your face. Levester had so much heart tonight. Uh, there are a lot of guys out there that would quit after eating as much shots as he did in the first round alone. And All I know is Levester's getting more love from the, the ring girls than Torres did. So, I mean, that's a nice consolation prize. Yeah, to, to eat that many punches and still be good looking, congratulations, sir. Kid does not look like he's been in a fight at all. He's ready to party afterwards. <laughs> Torres is a whole lot more swole up than Mark Sylvester is, though. There was a 10 8. A 
this they gave him the 10-8 in the first round. Most likely, he took so many shots, so much damage. I, I would have said that that was a 10-8 myself. But you know, Lester's such a tough guy. He showed that here tonight, and he will be back. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see him wearing a belt sometime in the future. Such a hardworking guy. Both of these guys, hardworking, high, top-notch fighters, great athletes.